So we're now inside Studio 42, and I ask you this question before we show you on camera. Alonzo leads the way with 120. He is tied with Aaron Judge. How about that? Jose Ramirez, Paul Goldschmidt, Kyle Tucker, who I love, by the way. I love yeah, that guy. Great player. Love him. And Lindor also on that list. So the Mets have a couple. Judge at 128. And the reason we're here and the reason they have bats and the reason why I'm going to step away <laughs> is because you're both lefties. I don't want to get in the way. Is this the art or the mindset of driving in a run has got to be different than the mindset of here I am. There are guys on base. Let's go. Let me just hit the ball. What? Talk to me here. You're, you're a guy who drove in over 120 a number of times. Talk about it. For me, it was experience and learning. Every year there was this learning curve of that mentality, as you said. Like knowing you can hit the ball out of the ballpark, but not with guys at third base. You know, guys at third base, at the end of the day, you want to give yourself three chances. You do not want a keyhole case. It, it, that ball that's a little bit off the plate, if a righty comes, say a righty's out there, and he throws a backdoor breaking ball to try to get strike one, early in the game with guys not on, you might take that pitch. With guys at third base, that might be the best pitch you're going to get in that at bat. So I always try to look at it. I want to try to give myself three chances and expand a little bit. That, that was a, as, I, as I learned and got a little bit older in the game. Nothing drives me more crazy, Jimmy, is like, you know, a guy like you that drove in 130 runs, drove in 124 runs. Nothing drives me more crazy when they say, hey, RBIs are just a team thing. Guys get on base and these guys drive in. No, driving in runs is an art. It really is. Like, just, you know, you know what Alonzo's doing at 128 and Judge at 128? Oh. These guys aren't just hitting home runs. They're finding ways to, 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 to drive, drive runs in. And when you go look at these guys at what they're doing, I mean, it's not just about going deep. It's about putting together good at bats. And, and uh, you know, as we look at Alonzo in the tape, you know, we see some of these bet the best run, run producers that they have. You know, when you see a guy like Alonzo, I remember, you know, playing with Griffey Jr., he would say, listen, you don't drive in 130 by just hitting home runs. You've got to really drive the ball, put it in play. This is a 2-1 pitch, bases loaded, right? He's not trying to just get up there and hook one. He gets a pitch middle away right here and, ha and waits on the ball and drives it the other way because he has the power to do it. It's a good piece of hitting. So, so Case, here's Judge, again, has had an unbelievable year. What I notice about this, guys, is how slow he gets ready. He's not rushed. There's no anxiety, and look at the year he's had. And look at a guy like Paul Goldschmidt. We talked about it, Jimmy, just a second ago. Sometimes when you're a run producer, you have to expand. 0-2 right there, Paul Goldschmidt. Look at this pitch. Up and away, he says, you know what? I'm not going to try to do too much. I'm not trying to go deep here, but i got to put the ball in play to have a chance to drive in the run. Well, and then and in case, this guy, you could argue, has had five of the best years of anyone in baseball. He, he, he expands the zone, yep. and I'll go to Eddie. I played with Eddie. Steady I Eddie. sat on the bench with Eddie. Eddie gets on his back leg, and you know what? He'll shoot the ball to the left. I had such a great time listening to Eddie Murray. He was the guy that said, give yourself a chance with a guy on third base. If that means ground out to the second yeah. baseman, they can never take an RBI off the board because it's on there. Yeah, and, and you know, playing playing with Junior, it was so impressive to watch. You know, for me, this was a guy that just found a way to get guys in. And I remember him telling me, go, I said, dude, how do you do it? How do you drive in 120, 130, you know, 140? Ridiculous numbers that he put up a lot of in Seattle when he first came over to Cincinnati. He hit 40 home runs and drove in, I think, 120. And he said, Case, it's not always about that home run. It's about making sure you're putting the ball in play, making sure the guy's on third. I got to at least get that ground ball to second and get him in. And all of a sudden, you look up with that consistency after 162 and you go, wow, there's 120, 130 RBIs. Yeah. You know what, Maddie? There's a basket in April. And every day you get a ribby, you get a home run. The average is going to go up and down. It's natural. A batting average will go up and down like a roller coaster, a run scored. These are all things in April when you look up in September and you can, like a Goldschmidt, you consistently just play the game. 
all these little things add up. A little ground ball to the second baseman getting that guy in means a lot. It you, means a lot, yes, to personal statistics, but more so to your team. team. You know, my observation from being at the ballpark often is the guys in BP who are hitting the ball if they're righties and they're hitting the ball to right, and they're working on doing the little things rather than putting on a home run show, to me, that's there's value there. Did you did you work on things? Yeah. Oh, oh listen. The power of, of of being deliberate. The power of intention and batting practice. Listen. There's probably most big league players. Those first couple rounds, they're trying to go the other way and they're trying to create that bat path because they know in the game you can pull. So yeah, there's no doubt. You watch a big league batting practice, you're going to see the power of being deliberate and the power of intention with these guys of working the balls in the gaps and maybe trying to juice a couple of those last couple rounds. Absolutely. I, I think the BP part, especially early, was maneuvering the baseball and know you could do it. You know, like during the game, I, I remember watching Griffey going into the kingdom, going out there and watching him take early BP. And Charlie Manuel would comment like, Jim, you watch tonight in the game, he's going to look the same way. Like the exertion, he, he never exerted himself. Like to the degree that he rushed, he always was under control and his BP to game was so spot on. And we have live BP. Behind us right here, it looks like the Astros. And uh, again, they can lock up the home field advantage for the American League portion with a win tonight and a Yankees loss in Toronto.